Okay, let's go and take a look at our quiz problem here. So we're asked to solve the quadratic equation by factoring. Okay, obviously you're going to have to know something about quadratic equations and our solutions and how to factor a um, trinomial. So let's go ahead and take a look at our solution here. All right, so the first order of business is to be able to factor this quadratic uh, trinomial. Okay, now you, all this work here you see me doing is uh, how I factor this trinomial. Let me just say right up front, if you already know how to factor this trinomial, let's say you just paused uh, the video and you went ahead and just you know factor this and your factors turn out to be this okay then I would say you can kind of skip all this other stuff right and you should be able to uh, know how to factor um, a polynomial if you don't that you know you want to go back and review okay but um, let's go ahead and continue with the problem okay and let me show you what I have one of the ways I show uh, people how to factor okay students so let's see here so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take you can see my quadratic um, equations written in standard form. So I'm going to take the first number, okay, that first uh, leading coefficient, I'm going to multiply it by the last number, okay, and you remember it's written in standard form, highest to lowest power. So that's going to be 2 times negative 15, that's, that's negative 30. So now I'm listing all the factors of negative 30. This is all the way I can factor negative 30, 1 times third, th negative 1 times 30, 1 times negative 30, etc. So when I list all the factors of negative 30, I'm looking for a pair of factors such that when you add them up, you're going to get this middle number here. Okay, and you can see 10 times negative 3 is negative 30, but when you add them, 10 plus a negative 3, you get positive 7. So I want to use these factors here, okay, to help me factor this uh, quad quadratic trinomial. So this uh, 7x, the way I'm going to write that is 10x plus a negative 3x. All right, so I'm rewriting 7x as the sum of 10x and minus 3x. Okay, and obviously these are the uh, pair of factors that I just used here. So when I do that, I can do what we call group factoring. Okay, I can factor here and I can factor here. All right, you can kind of see what's going on, right? I'm factoring out. Now I have common factors and I can factor that factor out of these and I end up with this. So, you're, you know, I'm not giving you a full explanation because this problem is really, you know, based upon your ability to factor. So if, you, if you're struggling, you know, this is not the problem for you. Go back and, and work on factoring and then come back to this problem. But if you understand that or if you're able to factor this using your technique, you know, that's great. Right? So the bottom line is getting to this point. So the factors of 2x squared plus 7x minus 15 equals 0 is x plus 5 times 2x minus 3 equals 0. Okay. So when we're able to factor a quadratic equation, that's great because it's really easy to solve quadratic equations when we have their factors. All we need to do is set each factor equal to zero. So here I have x plus five equal to zero and two x minus three equal to zero and then solve. Okay, solve each equation. So I get x equals negative five and x equals three over two. Okay, and remember quadratic equations always have two solutions and those are uh, the solutions there. All right, so if you're able to do this problem, you know, that's great. You know, that's, um, you know, a good indication that you know what you're doing in algebra. And if you want to take more math pop quizzes with me, please jump on over to homeschoolmathquiz.com. Especially if you're a homeschooler, you'll love the site. And have a great day.